Welcome to video 13 on the creation of a model railway. The track has been laid and the wiring for the turnouts and the sensors has been done so we can drive around with 11 trains DCC controlled. Let's have a look. Automation is done via train controller 10 gold. Uh, there is a separate series of videos done on train controller. So if you would like to know more about that specific program, have a look over there. The DCC command station that is used is the DR5000 by Dirikais. This is the module as it is shown in the shop. And this is the model uh, mounted on one leg of the table. Sorry for the fuzzy picture. It was a bit dark, so I used a long shutter time. Uh, 11 trains, or maybe in future 12 or 13 or 14, is a bit too much for one DR5000. So there's also a booster in use. Uh, also from Dirikais, they are connected via Loconet. And this is the booster at the uh, north side of the table, taking care of half of the layout. Both have uh, three amperes of DCC current available. Switching of turnouts is done by servo, controlled by this DCC Next, which is a DCC decoder available for 10 euros at Arcomora. Let me show you the website. This is the website. Uh, please have a look over there. The, the stuff is really quite cheap. Uh, there is no profit. It's only the, the cost of material and of course shipping. This DCC Next is a, an Arlo, Arduino based module and it can switch 16 accessories or a maximum of 10 servos and then still 6 accessories. Mm, let's have a look at the... Oh, this is the uh, module by the way, uh, as mounted under the table. Uh, uh, let's have a look at the switching of the servos, how these are mounted, is shown in this short clip. Ja, doe eens. 35? Ja, alle twee. Doe maar een paar keer. Oké, okay, is genoeg. Train detection is performed by using read switches on the track. Over here we see two of them. These are on top of the sleepers. You could also lower them a bit by yeah, filing away a little bit of the sleepers uh, such that they are more embedded. Or if you really don't want to see them at all, you can even mount them vertically in, in a small hole that you drilled and then you, you don't see them, specifically not after ballasting. Uh, of course you need a little magnet under every uh, train, uh, every locomotive, or if you also drive backwards, every last wagon needs a magnet. These are neodymium magnets, they are very cheap and very small and very strong, so they do the job perfectly well. Uh, these uh, read switches are connected to a module called Arloco, that is an uh, Arduino Loconet shield. Uh, so you have to buy an Arduino and this shield, which is available for about 6 euros again from Arcomora. This is the unit mounted um, under the table with 16 wires, 16 reeds connected to it. And uh, again, uh, available at Arcomora. Please have a look over there. Really uh, value for money units that you can get there. These Arloco modules are all connected together via an, a, a Loconet 
data protocol and then connected to the DR5000 and the DR5000 in turn is connected via USB to the PC where train controller 10 receives all these signals. So every block that we see here has a sensor at the beginning of the block or like here if it is a, a two-way traffic block then there of course is a read switch sensor at the beginning and also a read switch sensor at the other end which is also <laughs> the beginning um, for the other direction uh, yeah and all these orange uh, turnouts they are all controlled via dcc they have their own address and all of that is fully automated of course well let's have some footage of some trains driving around at the very end there's a small clip on how the bridge was built actually it is very simple it's just a piece of wood with a hinge on one end and a standard uh, cabinet lock on the other end that is shown in, in the end of the video well have fun and maybe see you back in the next video and in the meantime of course by yourself also have fun Yeah.